G'day and welcome to the start of a new EU4 campaign. Uh, this one we're going to be going for uh, this particular achievement, the Levant Turnabout. So as the Mamluks have 100 army professionalism and annex the Ottomans. The biggest thing with this one is it's going to take forever to get the army professionalism up to full. Um, usually don't bother going for it. So this time, you know, spend all the cash to get all the bonuses and everything on that. So let's jump in here. Mamluks, play Iron Man, play uh, Levant, turn a boot. All right, so I don't know if I've actually played as the Mamluks before properly. Probably had a look at them when the uh, new government came in, but I don't think I've played a full campaign. So firstly, we can select Naval Doctrine. I'm thinking galley combat ability would be nice. Convert provinces to Sunni. Let's go for it. A little provincial unrest because of it. Uh, too few rivals. Well, let's go ahead and rival Ottomans. And Venice or Cara. Uh, don't we start with, yeah, we've got Hejaz and Fadl. All right, um, probably the best thing to do is we look at what the missions are going to be. Holy Cities, Medina, which is over in Medina. All right, and that gives us claims on areas. Build to force limit, need allies. Income coming up should be okay. Just need to embargo Venice. So I guess one of the rivals is going to have to be Venice. And then Kara is this dude. I'd rather do maybe Aqua Yunli. Depending on who hates the Ottomans, perhaps. Okay. So us, clearly, Hungary, Austria. Could we get an alliance with them? 26, 42, no, fair enough. Um, just have a quick look at Medina. Offer of vassalization is pretty much there. You have to get the alliance to vassalize them anyway. And because we have people, we're on four out of four. We're guaranteeing that's Cyprus. Um, could be a little harder to get them. Let's just wait the day. And we're actually starting in second. All right, <clears throat> alliance with the Cypriots, and then Timurids hate us. I'm still thinking we probably want to expand into Kara sooner rather than later. All right, that'll do us for our three. And then we have, I guess, a decent sized fleet. Let's go protecting trade. Um, let's not forget to grab all the things. So, <clears throat> Monarchy and Mamluk Emirs are probably going to have issues here. 40% of our land belongs to them, so we'll take care of that. Uh, influence is going to be over 100. Let's just go with granting the generalship. And we'll just suffer the uh, loyalty hit there. And where are we going to need to put these guys? All over the place. All right, we'll start in Garbia. That's the other thing. Uh, not a lot of money. All right, merchants, Grand Monopoly charters, and then minister and admiralship. Probably don't really want early carracks. Just take 150 points. The Lima, we seek their support. 63, 78, 150. Perfect. Who was our leader? A two, two, three. But he is 72 years old. So obsessive perfectionist, silver tongue. And looks like. No. Uh, discipline would be the way to go. Now, do we want to focus? I think we'll stick with uh, military until we get ahead. Alright, did I send them out? <coughs> Apparently not. So, protect trade in Alexandria. We've got Cyprus, got Medina. Thank you, Medina. So next month we'll offer them vassalization. Probably you're gonna to want to go to war with Anisa. He is with Akoyanlu, so let's say put up a spy network over there. 
That was the other thing. We need to build up to force on it. Which is another nine troops. Does that put us on 24 and 9? Sounds good enough. Barely afford it. Alright, got our things. Looming disaster. The aristocratic coup. Not really. Oh god, he was terrible. Um, no, we should be able to kill this guy that much faster. So you can sew my way for Chakmakurji. And then we're going to go around in a year's time, try not to forget. We need to uh, strip as much of their land from them as we can. Alright, mission is fulfilled. We have built to force limit. Morale of armies, good. Expand the Mamluks by 50 development. Uh, and he's died. Within, what's that, two months. Age 45, age 32. Gain army tradition. And Kazamiya with a strong claim. He's aged 50. But, he's a 653, so that's good enough. And then we need to denounce sect practices. So, legalism is the one that we want for tax. So I guess we go the other way for army strength. And missionary strength. We're already up this way a little, so... Move towards legalism. And missionary strength versus heretics. Presumably, they're heretics, yes, they're Shia. Remember that looming disaster, and while oh, we're at it, we want to be able to declare on these guys whenever the Ottomans declare. So let's jump into our Amazon and Dulkidia. Just want to drag out a war against them. Let the Ottomans declare on them, vassalize them, and it being a defensive war against the Ottomans. Sheikh ul Islam. Hmm, tax, tolerance to the true faith, missionary strength. Move towards mysticism is unfortunate, but I, mean, I guess that's fine. You gain manpower from that side. I like this one for the uh, corruption reduction. So it basically just means that you can debase your currency for free. Four there, five there. Now, let's also make this guy a guy. He's a 3301. That's okay. Over here, we'll check in Shaban Bay. And what was the other one I'm trying to do? Cyprus. He's Catholic. Probably never accept vassalization. I don't know, the mammoths always seem to end up with that. So I don't know if there's an event coming or something. So I think we want to head into Arabia first, try and take chunks out of this, head over here, sort out the Ottomans ASAP. Naval Force Summit, we can take another two boats. Not a fan of that, but you know, we can just turn off our forts, get money this way. The world of the Ulema. Gain corruption, lose corruption, lose loyalty. But as I was just saying, we can debase the currency and lose the corruption. Kujukin. Is he 50 and he is secretive. Mm -hmm. Alright, it is December. So we're allowed to do these now. Let's knock this one up. Mm -hmm. 
which was, will not change. There's so much land for that. Right. So basically, you're going to be trying to get rid of all the red states. <laughs> Guys, yeah. Okay, claim on Alula. That one was the four. Doesn't really matter. And you know what? Doesn't really need to be there. Just point out that towards Akoyunlu, we are hostile. Probably look for uh, what alliances we can get as well. Tunis could be a good one. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, get alliance to Tunis pretty much just so that the Ottomans can't use them against us. Puts us uh, slightly over. Ethiopia is going to blob out if we don't take care of them quickly. Great Horde. Oh, we can get an alliance with Hungary. That is one that we would want to do. Alright, Tunis. And I uh, have no idea where these guys are. Right, Ramzan and Dulkidia. down far enough. We'll keep taking a little more off them though. Very negative manpower. Uh, merchants gain influence. Advisor costs down. Lost loyalties. Yeah. Gonna have problems with the guys for a while anyway. That's why I'm stacking this now. They're already on zero, so that's the worst that could happen really. Alright, up to Jaffa. Should we do the mash? Probably yes. They're down to the moment 12%, taking nearly 30% of our country back. The rougher one. Drylands. Let's not get now forward. And then, do we also have. Yeah, no real rebellion issues, just Thoroughly Sal Shaman Saida, which would be the two that we're doing here. They're nearly done because we took the huge boost to our missionary strength. The Shufi Sheikh Ul Islam. So, um, probably might come over here. Who's his ally? Naj and Akko Yonlu. I think we're going to do it soon. Um, let's also fabricate on Karaman. Could start going down this way. What is Mercuria's situation? Mercuria and Olodia. Olodia has a claim on Dongola. Alright. Build up the Spinework in Mercuria. Get 
Go here, go here, go there. Throw one guy up there. Go a decent chunk of change. Let's pay for the forts. Commons are at war. Byzantium. Alright, money losses aren't too bad. Stop rooting out corruption. Gain stability or base tax. There is a very easy choice. So we're going to boost stability. We're going to gain stability. And it takes us back a little there, but it's looking good on the tech. There's a conversion. And it's 10 years until we can uh, start integrating these guys, so we just feed them what we can beforehand. Alright, conversion done. So, Total Blue Cell Sham, still a little bit of a problem. Stemming from controlled by Anglo clergy. No, active missionary hasn't ticked off until the end of the year. Alright, so everyone's happy. Bayer seeds, Bayer to Medribari. It's okay, it was uh, Shandy that Elodia has the thing on. And I think it's time to get started. <clears throat> so, Koyan Lee would bring in Karaman, Ramazan, and Yapas. Let's not do that. Nah, I should bring in the Chimuds and Ormuz. Let's not do that. Medina, down there. Revelations at 190. Map to be at peace. Alright, that'll be after this war. So let's just not bring them in. Actually, they. No, because if we give them land, they might not want to be a vassal anymore. Alright, let's just go straight out like this. Reconquest of Al Joff is for Fawl. Okay, that'll work. Confirm that. We go charging straight in with Sayyid Kansur. He's the 2 2, he's the 3 3 with 1. So, drylands and desert. Akoyonlu <clears throat> have a six, seven, eight, nine. So, I think we'll stay together. It's a highland fort there. Let's just go straight to it. Probably not going to want to take any land from them. If we do, we'll hand it over to Fardal. So, you know what? Fardal, you go. Take these with your 1,000 men. And then Najd, we want Khajaz. To attempt to sort out for us. And might as well just tell these guys to go to sieges. Full annexation of a dual by Karaman. After Ako and Lu took a stack of other stuff. I will make it interesting. Battle of Little Jaff is done. He has no special skills. Alright, one, two, three, four. Come down this way. Alright, five under five. So you've got the 2,000 there, and we do want to try and make sure that army dies so that we can have our run of this place and not worry about the other guys getting hurt. Karamanis, Nan and Mamluken supply. Alright, the other thing I forgot. Uh, Medina. Improve relations with them right friggin' now. Their army is down there. Make sure they can't make any more and then we'll chase them down. Nongla's dead. Alright, time to chase him. Oof, 
beautifully done. And that's looking good. These guys are Dorkadiris. That's fine. He's going to be stuck on there. We've got Fardel going. We won't be able to get past there. Oh, he's sneaking in behind me. Should be the end of the Najdi army. So it's just Akoyunlu's nine. So that's the only army we need to worry about. We have one and the other here. He's going to Khalib. Oh, even better. If we could vassalize them, it would be perfect. Not quite. Only because of that extra land they took. Shamar has just declared on Eniza. That was Seer, Medina, and his and Kaifa. I mean, if we vassalize them, we could get dragged in. Looks like it's probably just Shamar at the moment. It'll actually leave that one. Hello, is it worth attempts at no. Alright, catch him even though it's fine. Hold on, could you? The career has played on Matt and Bigger. Alright. On the Siege of Old Joff. No, that war was over. First string up here, Karaman for Isel. And then Makuria for Kasari Brim. We could fabricate on a Bezier, I guess. Mm. We'll take out Shamar. Feed this to Hajaz. Start sorting this out. <clears throat> so Hajaz, Hajaz, that'll go to Hajaz. Um, and these are we could give to Fardel, I guess. Give this one to Fardel, because I'm pretty sure that was a core. Yep. And then vassalize them here. Shamari Conquest yeah, is just, no, it's Shamar and Medina. Well, it's a little annoying that Medina are in there. If they don't want to be our vassals anyway, then sure, they can die. Yeah, there's no hurry. Alright, it's the end of their army. Alright, let's do it this way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, quite leaving up there. So we can stop them from making any additional troops. And these guys should probably just spin around and get ready for the other war. He is with Akoy and Lee and Kanda. Alright, gonna do this one first then. They have cores. They are 78. <clears throat> They're the ones most likely to get attacked by the Ottomans too. Alright, let's squish these guys up.
equip them and we'll do them together. Alright, do you <laughs> we don't really have any alliance to bring in? Well we have Hungary for Defense War and Cyprus. And Tunis, of course. We're guaranteeing Medina. Alright, uh, first things first. Najd. Your land belongs to Hadeth. Take the money and say goodbye to Naj. And then Koyunlu happens to be next. We're improving with Medina. That's going to be moot in a second, so let's bring him back. Alright, so peace with Koyunlu. Can't be part of his non co-belligerent as well. <clears throat> In that case, we could annul him with Karaman and Ramadan. Take my tab, I'm just a little wary about the aggressive expansion. I guess that'll be okay for now. To get something off them. Should we? Well, it's going to cost diplo no matter what. Um, yeah, I mean, less land for the Ottomans if they get in there again before we can. And who's the other one? Yuppas. Fine. Send that. Army, yep. Alright, next up, our Ramazan. Kandar. Can't call anybody else in. Does he have oh, it's some nice cores on them? Might vassalize him. If we're gonna vassalize Karaman as well, we could uh, feed both of them the elements. Alright, our Ramazan and Kandar. Go ahead with that starting number. And then this is just them. We'll wait a little longer. There's the islands. Let's stop him walking this way. Nope. He's foolish enough. Okay, that's the end of that arm. And he has the siege. Let's walk up to Schnopp. May we get access, please, Ottomans? No. Alright, military tech. Who's deploy? We'll take an absent merchant. Alright, so, <clears throat> Medina and Shamar. Obviously, they have 11,000 men. We have 12,000 here, not doing much. So let's jump over here. Hit these guys in the desert, have them pull them out. Alright, looks like Kandar don't want to get access through Ottomans. They are seeds. It's a beber to a lodia. My courier have a feudalism. Alright. Sue for peace. So. Aljorf goes to them. We will make him a vassal just.